Hey everybody, this is a quick start guide to getting beautiful graphics out of the ggplot2 package in R, um, and I'm using R Studio. Um, this is a discussion appropriate to the statistics one level. There's more powerful um, and sophisticated ways of doing everything I'm going to show in this video. I'm just focusing on the most intuitive, quick and dirty ways of doing stuff. I'm going to be looking at a subset of the, of the iris data set. I've subset it out. 50 rows that correspond to the virginica flower. Um, in particular, I'm going to be trying to get a scatter plot of sepal length versus sepal width. So before we can do that, we have to load up the tidyverse package or family of packages. If you don't have that in already, you want to put install dot packages parenthesis quote tidyverse. If you have any errors there, you should Google them and follow down that rabbit hole. Okay. Now we're all set, so let's go ahead um, and graph this. Let's get a scatter plot. The basic syntax is qplot. And first we want to tell it the x value, the um, variable we want to use on the horizontal axis for the explanatory variable. So it's virginica dollar sepal length. So the name of the data set, dollar the name of the column. Then for the vertical axis, let's do virginica dollar sepal width. Next we need to tell R how to display the data. So we want a scatter plot, so we put geom equals point, and it's P-O-I-N-T to spell point. That'll give us a basic scatter plot. Let's zoom in on it. There we go. Okay, so um, the labels on the axes are bad. We should go ahead and fix that. Also, let's say a couple of words about how we can do things like changing color and, and point size. So I'll use an up arrow to get the previous command. And then let's say xlab to change the label on the x um, axis, and that'll be sepal length. That'll remove that ugly uh, dollar sign notation. And ylab equals quote sepal width. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and change the color of the points. Color equals. So um, the syntax here is i parenthesis quote, and let's pick dark red just arbitrarily. Um, the syntax is a little bit awkward. That's just a function of the fact that R is very sophisticated and sometimes to get it to do simple obvious things you do need to be explicit with it. See how that looks. There we go. Okay, so the labels are better and the um, point color has been changed. You can mess with, for example, size by doing size equals. Um, you can get a main title on here. Um, I encourage you to explore what qplot will do more with question mark qplot or just by Googling it. Great, let's now get a regression line. One nice thing about ggplot2 and the tidyverse family of packages is that you can add layers to your graph literally by adding to the command you already have. So um, I've just gone back up to that, G, that qplot command I already have, and now I'm going to add in geom underscore smooth. So this is going to give us a fit of some sort. R has many different fits at its disposal. The only one that really matters in statistics one is method equals quote lm for linear model. So you should get in the habit in a, a introductory stats class of always putting that in. Um, I want to add one other command in here, and that's se equals false. That's another one to use um, at, at, sort of by default, at least at first when you're starting out. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so we have a smoother in there. Um, the, the blue and the red is very patriotic. Let's uh, also consider how to change that, however. Let's go back. Inside that geom smooth command, we can also specify a color. So let's do it the same way as before. And uh, let's go with dark gray this time. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so there it is, a little bit more bland. One question I want to answer before we wrap up this video is what happens if we take out this SE equals false? So let's do that. So now R is giving us an error ribbon. Um, it's very roughly speaking give you, giving you a sort of confidence interval. Um, if we were to graph all the plots in the data set from which this, um, these 50 observations were sampled, we would expect the regression line to lie within that, that error ribbon. Very, very roughly speaking. 